Hey everyone, welcome back to KTube. Today I'm doing the new Lego Ninjago. This is for ages 9 and up. This is set 71755 and this is the Temple of the Endless Sea. At the top side of the box, these are all the minifigures it comes with. It comes with NRG Nia, Scuba Kai, Prince Benthoma, Goltinus, Mary God, and Prince Kalma. At the back of the box, it shows you everything it can do and what uh, all the special play features are inside. And guys, the release date for this set was the 1st of June, and this set also contains 1,060 pieces. So now, let's get opened and started with. Okay guys, I'm really excited. This was my dream set, and now it's time to open it, and wow! OMG! That's a lot! Let's show you everything which includes in the box. Bag one, bag two, bag three, bag four, bag five, bag six, bag seven, bag eight, and last bag nine. And guys, we have a really beautiful royal cardboard cover for the instruction booklet so it doesn't get damaged. So let's take a look at inside. Oh, uh, okay, so let's open this up. Oh my goodness! Wait, how many are they? Okay, so we've got one, two, is there any stickers? Yes, there are stickers. Okay, so first we've got the stickers, and we've got instruction booklet number one, and the instruction booklet number two. Okay guys, so let's open up bag number one. Oops. <laughs> Oh wow guys, I love the pieces in here. And let's also open up this one. And here's all the pieces and everything we have. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start building. I'll see you after the build. Okay, so here's the completed set of the Lego Ninjago, the Temple of the Endless Sea. But first, let's start off with the minifigure. Okay guys, so first let's check out the ocean mobile. Okay, so let me give you all the detail over here. So over here we have all the red, which represents Kai. We have also yellow, which is also fire. Yes, you can open up these two and make sure it has a nice grip in the ocean. And we also got some knives in there, so like you can chop some fish. And this can open, that way you can put a minifigure inside. Okay, sorry about that. Um, let's put him in there. Okay, let's close it up. Then this can also spin, so it can represent that um, he goes in the water and bubbles are coming out. So that way he's like, in the water. Have a look. And I think it also has a rocking feature. If I take out the minifigure, there you go. It rocks like this. 
Alright guys, so now it's time for the best part and that is to show you the most beautiful set I've always wanted to build. Uh, so guys, let's take a look at the mini temple first. Excuse me. Uh, so as you can see, we have these two, um, three swords, which has two on the sides as well. We've got some water flowing up on both sides. We've got stone rock coming from the bottom. We've got a gold window uh, over here representing um, a nice Asian window. And at the back of the set, it shows uh, some potions with a nice rug. And uh, the potions represent, I think inside is water. Okay guys, so next we come to the beautiful dragon. Okay, so let's take a really good look at her. As you can see, she has black everywhere with some nice smooth stickers. We have uh, some teal green everywhere, but mostly it's black. We've got some gold teeth at at the top, and she's also got a tooth. At okay, yes, all done. She has, um, you know, a tooth as a chin. We've also got the water amulet inside of the chest, which is stuck inside of the chest, so it's like the power. We also have um, these little scythes, I think, uh, like these ocean scythes, I guess, uh, I guess, so that way the ninjas can use them for fighting. Okay, so we also have uh, some moving articulated things, for example, uh, the tail can move, her wings can move. Oops. Yeah, so these are a bit weak, so I'll probably recommend you holding these before moving them, but they are really nice for decoration. So here's the fun part about Wajira, and that is. So, as you can see over here, Wajira has a very special thing she can do. When she's breaking out, all you need to do is press this and it should come out. Ha ha ha! Guys, I just made a mistake. This is so cringe. Alright, this time I've got it now. BAM! Wajira is free! Okay, she's all back and running, so we can lift up her mouth. It doesn't really hurt, really. And then there's another way on how you can do it, and... Okay, that's strange. Okay, guys, so I just learned this, and that is, if you pull this thing out, it actually stays, so her mouth can actually be open. That's also another thing you can do, and that is... If you want to take out Super Chomp, which is that it's really like a wide mouth, you do it like this, it gets wider. Well, Jira's very hungry. Let's put a minifigure in her mouth. So, I'm gonna put her in. Oops. Got ya. Yeah. And now. Okay guys, so now let's put back in um, the head, which is this. I'm going to take this off, and we're going to put this back inside. That really wasn't a feature, but I just did it because I thought it was really good. Also, um, at the bottom, this part can move. She looks like she's dancing. And then the top head can move over here. Um, she can't really move because this is connected to Technic pieces, which makes that like, like a skid creak shape, like around here, then it comes back up, then it creates the head. Okay guys, moving on to the big temple, there's a lot inside of here which is really good, 
and the detail is really cool like for example we use these car uh, window shields uh, like you know the top view to make a nice circle and it's rather really nice there's also a special thing you can do around here so when you're about to go over here or something let's put the minifigure down at the back over here there's this little button and when you press it or like you push it he just shoots out that is so cool guys after hitting guys after shooting that look how far he went so this time i'm gonna push it over here and if you can see the minifigure right there you can even see his face in there how nice yeah that was really good there's also another thing you can do which is rather interesting and that is let's get nrg near and if someone is coming in like an intruder you push this oops no you don't push that <laughs> you push this and bam it shoots and then we got our second one oops. Ooh, i think she's a bit too strong so let's go guys let's do that one more time oops and then two more times since we've got two more bullets. Okay. Okay. Last one. This is my first one. I just picked up. Why did I pick up the second one? Okay, cool. Alright, let's um put these back in now. And let's show you the rest in the temple. Which is around the side, we have this creepy head which i'm not sure what this is i haven't watched season 15 yet planning to do it but um i don't know really know what this is um okay guys i'm gonna do a funny thing let's put the sea sculpture's hair on him wait we're not done Look guys, look at our new minifigure. <laughs> and guys, finally we come to the last part of the tem temple. Alright guys, let's get started. Oops. Hello, help me! I'm stuck! Dun 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 You get two guys, we get two guns in the set. Bam! Yeah. Oh, you missed.
And lastly, guys, I'm gonna show you this nice pearl, the oyster and the pearl. So if you press this lever, it actually opens up the shell. It works like this. Guys, here's another joke. Since he's a titanium ninja, I am oyster hunt. <laughs> this hits him really well. Blah, 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 blah. And since he's robotic, now uh, he won't get any circuits wet because he's, his head is covered with a oyster. <laughs> But anyway guys, let's talk about my review of the set. So I'm gonna give this set 5 out of 5. I think it's really beautiful. It's rather really big and that's the best part about it. I think it's really fun to play with. Uh, my favorite character of the set should be Hanoji Nia because that's a minifigure I've wanted to collect. Because I've actually played Lego Brawls before and I wanted to uh, uh, collect a minifigure in real life. But yeah, that's my review. 5 out of 5. Love it really so much. It's, it's such a cool set. We'll be playing with this set. Also, favorite character, a uh, second one, has got to be Wajira because I love how the mouth action opens. She's so articulated. And yeah, it's such a cool set. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!